spell five hundred tears, awesome to behold. He has made us all new. We belong to His fall. The gospel is all that seen, but. So a mission to the poor and the children We bring His salvation To the rest of the world His message of compassion To all of humanity His challenge of Welcome, dear sisters and brothers. In a few moments, you will join our online Mass. It is sad that during this pandemic, this is our temporary way of worshiping the Lord and gathering as a community. Nonetheless, as you join our online Mass, join the songs, the responses, the prayers, with your body, with your mind, with your heart, and with your soul, as if you were inside the church. And during the act of spiritual communion, pray from your heart. Pray for the time when you will truly and sacramentally receive Jesus in Holy Communion at Mass. Let's pray for that time when we were when we will really be together in the church. And thank you for making Greenbelt Landmark Chapel your spiritual home. Thank you for your support to the chapel, for your mass intentions, your love offerings, 
your donations to our charities, despite the economic difficulties, we continue to help and extend our Lava Parish program because we trust in the generosity of God and we trust in your generosity. You are all channels of God's grace and love. And thank you. But I also invite you to be a channel of the good news. As we begin this online Mass, like and share. Invite and encourage your family and friends to follow our Green Belt or Landmark Chapel Facebook pages. And subscribe to our YouTube channel of Green Belt Chapel. Share this online Mass and other evangelization programs of the chapel. Who knows what you share will touch and change people's lives, especially during this pandemic. Be a channel of God's grace. Be a channel of God's love. Be a channel of God's good news. Welcome to Greenbelt and Landmark Chapel. Good afternoon, sisters and brothers. In order to preserve the solemnity of our celebration, we request to please turn off your cell phones or put them in silent mode. Thank you for your cooperation. We have some announcements. In celebration of 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines, the Mission Cross is available for 80 pesos only at the chapel office on weekdays or in the booth outside the chapel on weekends. 500 years of Christianity commemorative plates are now available at the chapel office for 700 pesos only. In our effort to support the online businesses of our servants during the pandemic, Greenbelt Chapel launches Bayanihan. To know more about the products and sellers' information, everyone is encouraged to visit the chapel's bulletin board at the center bridge. Your support will mean a lot. Thank you. Welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. Today is July 10, 2021, and we are in the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider for this Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is Reverend Father Gerard Reyes. Please stand and let us sing the Ancients Hymn. Thank you. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the risen Lord, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. If in any place they do not wish to receive you, and people refuse to listen to you, shake the dust off your feet and leave. The Gospels reveal to us the reality of rejection. Any of us at one point or another have experienced it, but we need to see rejection from another angle. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are the prophet sent by the Father to call all the peoples to conversion. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sent your apostles to preach the good news to all nations. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you want your disciples and apostles to trust only in the power of your word and your grace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, we bless, we bless you, we adore, adore you, we glorify, we glorify you. you. We give, we you, give thanks you thanks for your, your great, great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, you take away the, the sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. You take, take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are You're seated, seated at, at the right hand, hand of the Father, Father. Have, have mercy on us. For you, for you alone, alone are the Holy One, one. You, you alone, alone are, are the Lord. Lord. You, you alone are the Most High, Christ. Jesus Christ, with the, with Holy, the Holy Spirit, Spirit in, the in the glory of God, God the Father. The Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, Give all who, for the faith they profess, are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, priest of Bethel, said to Amos, Off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earned your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from the following, the flock, and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people, Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. 
Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims the Lord, for he proclaims peace. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ in accord with the favor of his will for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the beloved in him we have redemption by his blood the forgiveness of transgressions in accord with the riches of his grace that he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight he has made known to us the mystery of his will in accord with his favor that is set forth in him as a plan for the fullness of times to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. In him, we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hope in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession to the praise of his glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now honor the Holy Gospel. Together, may the Father, may the Father of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ enlighten, enlighten the, the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus summoned the twelve and began to send them out two by two and gave them authority over unclean spirits. He instructed them to take nothing for the journey but a walking stick, no food, no sack, no money in their belts. They were, however, to wear sandals, but not a second tunic. He said to them, wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave. Whatever place does not welcome you, nor listen to you, leave there, shake the dust of your feet in testimony against them. So they went off and preached repentance. The twelve drove out many demons and they anointed with oil many who were sick and he and they cured them. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good afternoon, everyone. What a relief to change my mask. You see, I made a mistake. Dinalo ko po yung aking mask na tela. Ngayon, salamat sa Diyos, meron pala rito ang Green Belt Chapel na isang katerbang surgical mask. Now I can breathe more freely. I, a while ago, the, the sound was muffled. I hope I'm able to convey the message clearly. Now, just because you and I try to do good to others, and we try to tell only the truth. That does not mean that we will be liked. It does not mean we will be accepted. Di ba meron tayong kasabihan, ang katotohanan, masakit, mapait. The bitter truth, which needs to be conveyed all the same, can, can be taken negatively by people and the moment you start telling the truth in the spirit of charity you can experience rejection and even by doing good you can still experience rejection because people doubt your motives bakit niya ginagawa yun siguro meron niyang ibang hinihintay na kapalit ah very human it is impossible that any of us here would have no experience of rejection. It is the bread and butter of life. As Christians, we strive to be good and to do good. It is only natural that you and I feel offended whenever our good efforts are rejected. We need to accept rejection and consider it as penance for our sins. Ako yun na lang iniisip ko. Pagka yung ako bilang pare ay nagbibigay ng matinong pangangaral sa tao at ayaw akong sundan, ako'y nilalayuan. Sasabihin ko, masakit, Pero tatanggapin ko, pangbayad sa aking kasalanan. Just consider any form of rejection as mortification. Let's use it as penance. But brothers and sisters, we need to look at rejection from another angle. We frequently focus on how you and I are rejected now. What about the times when we ourselves are the ones who reject our brothers and sisters? Those who seek our forgiveness, those who seek our help, no matter how small 
the aid they wish to receive, we still find one excuse or another in order to avoid them. That is rejection done by us. But more importantly, you and I have at one point or another rejected Christ's efforts to save us. We may not be aware of it fully, but we can easily reject God's invitation to conversion. Hindi ba? Naririnig natin pag tayo sumisimba, magbagong buhay kayo. Napakadaling sabihin, Opo, Jesus, Panginoon, susundin ko kayo. Pero hindi ko muna kaya magbagong buhay ngayon. We can delay our response. Maybe later, not now. I will try to convert myself some other day. I want to, but I cannot. Hindi ko kaya. Pero alam niyo, wala namang imposible sa Diyos eh. Kung gugustuhin natin, kakayanin natin. And what better time than now? No more delays. But the worst, the worst excuse that we can make is this. We can say, yes, I would like to undergo conversion. Magbabagong buhay na ako. Pero hindi ba ang Diyos naman ay maawain? Mauunawaan niya kung hindi muna ako magbagong buhay. Siguro sa susunod na taon na lang, as a New Year's resolution. O kaya sasabihin natin, <clears throat> wala naman ako nagawang masama. Wala akong matandaan na nagawa kong kasalanan. Many could no longer undergo conversion because they have lost the sense of sin. Maraming pwedeng pagkakamaling magawa, pero dahil mabait ang Diyos, hindi naman ako siguro mamamatay nang papupuntahin niya ako dun sa baba. Ililigtas ako ng Diyos. The means of salvation are likely to meet rejection. You see, we must benefit from them by making use of them. No delays, no refusals. Napakasimple lang po. Ang kaligtasan ay hindi mapapakinabangan kapag ito'y tatanggihan. The Church has provided for us all the means to salvation. The Eucharist, the sacrament of, the sacrament of reconciliation or confession, and at the same time, the anointing of the sick. These sacraments of healing are always available. How often do we make use of them now? All of you who are here are blessed. The fact that you are here means you desire to be saved. Now, you have an assignment. Yeah, para lang, we are forever learners. We are all enrolled in the school of charity. You will leave this chapel, but you have an assignment. Try to identify the people you know who have strayed away from the Catholic Church. There's a saying, charity begins at home. Begin with your loved ones. Sino ba ang nasa pamilya nyo na alam mong hindi na sumisimba? Nakalimutan na kung paano maging katoliko. Tumigil na sa pagdarasal. Hindi na marunong manalangin. At wala nang balak magbagong buhay. Did that beloved person refuse the means of salvation? If so, why don't you invite her or him back to the church? Begin with your loved ones. Yun muna mga mahal nyo sa buhay. 
start under your own roof and from there it is up to you how you will respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit Jesus sent disciples to spread the gospel and to spread salvation but they encountered rejection we are also rejected but how often have we rejected the efforts of God to save us tandaan ang kaligtasan na hindi mapapakinabangan kapag ito'y tinatanggihan the means of salvation are likely to meet with rejection we benefit from them by making use of them and by not rejecting them ang kaligtasan walang sapilitan lagi yang paanyaya nasa sa atin yon kung ibibigay natin ng matamis nating oo o ang mapait nating hindi Amen. Please all stand. We now recite the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only, only begotten, begotten Son of God, born, born of the, the Father before, before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by, by the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit was, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. Pilate. He, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom Them will have, have no end. I believe, I believe in, in the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As a sign of his love and concern for all mankind, Jesus keeps calling to active apostolate people of all ages and from all walks of life. Let us pray for them and for the beneficiaries of their apostolic labors by saying, Lord, graciously hear us lord graciously hear us for all the recipients of the message of salvation may they open their hearts to jesus and pattern their behavior after his example let us pray lord, lord graciously, graciously hear us for those who are tempted to rely on materials resources prestige or political power rather than moral values. May they always remember that Jesus saved the world through the humiliation of the cross. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. For all those called to a life of total dedication in foreign missions, may they respond promptly and wholeheartedly. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the missionaries who experience rejection, may they not be discouraged, but actually rejoice in seeing themselves treated the same way Jesus was. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. 
for an end to the pandemic, that God may grant health to the sick, strength to those who care for them, and comfort to families. Let us pray. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. We include in a special way in our intentions all our frontliners, especially those working in hospitals, that more and more of them may be preserved from the contagion of this deadly virus. We pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus Christ, make us brave and holy so that we may spread your kingdom in our society. You who live and encourage forever and ever. Amen. Let us now share our love offering as we continue our celebration with the liturgy of the Eucharist. Please stand. Pray, my brethren, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you. And grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for when your children were scattered afar by sin through the blood of your son and the power of the spirit you gathered them again to yourself that the people formed as one by the unity of the trinity made the body of christ and the temple of the holy spirit might to the praise of your manifold wisdom be manifest as the church and so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you as without end we acclaim
cannot kneel, please put your right hand on your chest as a sign of reverence. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. stand the mystery of faith we proclaim your death O Lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore O Lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may, we, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, 
on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned here before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To all our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, we now acknowledge the dominion of our Heavenly Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, earth as, as it is, it is in, heaven. in heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Life anew. When 
Please all kneel and let us pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Together, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other See us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray, pray for us. San Roque, pray, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray, pray for us. Please all stand.
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow through Christ our Lord. Amen. It's so difficult to maintain our Catholic disciplines, especially during this time of the pandemic. You cannot just go to Mass as easily as you used to. It's not easy to queue up for the confession. Pero ang magandang balita ko, saludo po ako sa Greenbelt Chapel kasi naranasan ko na pong mangumpisal dito at ako pinopromote ko yan. The Greenbelt Chapel has done an excellent job in administering the sacrament of reconciliation especially in this time of the pandemic. I have been a recipient of such blessing. Napaka-disciplinado. The distancing and the queuing are all so systematic, very orderly. You will never fail to miss it. Kaya ang panawagan ko sa inyo, pag binibigay ng simbahan ang lahat ng pamamaraan, patungo sa kaligtasan, dapat pakinabangan, huwag tanggihan. The means of salvation must never meet with rejection. We must benefit from it by making use of it, but not rejecting it. Napakasimple lang. Either you accept or you reject. Ang kaligtasan, walang sapilitan. Buong-buo ang ating kalayaan. When are we going to give our sweet yes to Jesus? Convert now. Change your ways. Go back to the Catholic Church. But you are blessed already. Your loved ones, you must call to come back to the Church if ever they have strayed away. Never use the pandemic as an excuse because there is still an online mass. And so, I say to you, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless, protect, and grant you all health, healing, and salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Questions of uncertainty arise Day by day I'm faced with trials Lord, help me see the hope that You bring into my life Each time I trust in You Music fills my heart.